Hi there, I'm Jason Parker, Olympic medalist in speed skating from jasonparkerspeaks.com and founder of the Olympian Within, where, where our goal is to help share these strategies and lessons with you that, can, that you can start applying right away that can help you start leaving, living a truly world-class life. And I wanted to welcome you here today to my 11 lessons to living a world-class life. And I just wanted to take a really quick minute to, to give you a little bit of an idea of just what these 11 lessons, what they're all about, how I came up with them, and, and what they're, hopefully they're going to be able to do for you. So giving you a little bit of background is that, uh, you know, I, I had, just like all of us, I had a lot of ups and downs throughout my career. I had a lot of really good years, and I had a lot of years that I really, really, really struggled. And so what, I, what happened is that in my, my last year of, of speed skating, I, I missed the Olympics three times. I missed in 94, I missed in 98, and I missed in 2002. And so I was coming up to 2006. So it was the summer, it was summer of 2005. So the 2006 Olympics were just around the corner. And I, um, I had just been coming off a couple of really, really challenging seasons where I just hadn't had the results that I, that I wanted and that I felt like I should have had. And so what it really caused me to do is it really caused me to sit back and start looking at, at things and, and realizing that, you know, when I, what I was doing, what I was currently doing, obviously it wasn't working. So I needed to start making some changes. And so what I did is that I'd been, I've always been an avid reader and I've, I've loved uh, being able to learn more and more about, uh, more about just how to be able to get more out of my own abilities, how to accomplish more, how to achieve more. And so I had read literally dozens and dozens of books on personal development, on motivation, on high performance, on all these different sorts of topics. And, but the problem was is that, you know, I'd read them, but I hadn't really applied the principles. And maybe you can relate to that. You know, how many books have you actually read that you read it and at the end of it you're like, wow, that was a really good book. But then you set it, set it aside and you never really did anything with it. You never really took any of the principles and incorporated them into who you were. And so at this point, you know, going back to, to my story, in 2005, I'd read dozens of books on, on how to achieve, how to be better, how to do more, how to accomplish, you know, like, like I already said. And, but I hadn't taken those principles, and I hadn't incorporated it into who I was, and I hadn't started living them. So what I did is that I really started to reflect on looking at, at some of the different things that I was doing, and I knew that I needed to change my perspective about what I was, how I was looking at my sport, how I was looking at myself, and how I was looking at my career. And so I made some major changes in that perspective, in that perception of, of, of what I was doing. And I went out there and I ended up having the most amazing season of my life and was able to retire having reached, finally reached after three missed attempts, after being the alternate four different times, I was finally able to achieve that Olympic dream that I'd set out 20 years earlier to accomplish. And after those Olympics, you know, I had a good friend of mine who was going uh, through a really difficult, a really difficult time. And, you know, he had, uh, he'd just lost his job. He had just ended up getting divorced from his wife. So his relationships in his life weren't very good. Um, he was actually clinically depressed. Uh, he was having just a lot of challenges. And, and uh, so here I was, I'd just come off the Olympic Games at, at six weeks after I got married. So I was like on top of the world. And, and uh, so I just, what I did is I sat back and it caused, and it forced me to reflect again on, on that, the previous, you know, the previous years and really look closely at what things that I changed in my life to be able to go from, you know, having horrible results in my sport to achieving, you know, the ultimate outcome that I'd always dreamed of. And so what I did is I went and I, and I just, I wrote a Facebook message to, to my buddy and I came up with these 11 different lessons, these 11 different principles and, and things that I looked back that in my mind ended up being pivotal, 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 sorry, uh, pivotal lessons in, in my life that truly ended up being a total crossroads and the major changing factor in my entire career. So if it wasn't for actually living, starting to live some of those principles that I learned in all those dozens of books that I had read, if it wasn't for, for living those and applying them and integrating them to my being, I never, I truly believe that I never would have achieved that Olympic dream. And I want to be, I mean, to be frank, my Olympic dream didn't happen the way I had intended it to. 
It didn't happen the way I'd always visualized it or dreamed it would. And we'll touch on that again on a later time. I'll, I'll go into deeper on that. And, but the thing is, is that the ultimate goal ended up happening. And so what I did is that, you know, like I said, I sat down, I wrote out this list of 11 things um, that uh, I sent off to my friend. And, and, you know, realistically, I haven't really even talked with him that, that closely about it uh, in, in real detail to see if, how much he applied it. Uh, but he ended up going on to really, uh, his life has really turned around. He, um, he's now, he's happily married again. He's in a great job. And, you know, from, the, from some of the things that, that I've heard, heard from him, he just seems to be in a really good place. So I guess I should probably go back and, and uh, just go a little deeper and find out what are the things he actually applied and what he utilized because he went through a big transformation similar to what I did. So coming back to you, so because obviously this is about me being able to share these things with you, my goal for you is to be able to help give you these lessons and help you to be able to uh, apply them and integrate them into your life so that you know, if you're finding that you're having uh, challenging circumstances or you don't feel um, as, as vibrant as you, uh, as you, might, you may have in the past or you just don't feel like you uh, have the same direction or purpose that, that you're looking for, I just truly really hope that, that you know, one of these lessons will be able to make an impact on your life so that you can help you know, make that crossroads, that transition, similar to what I was able to do. Uh, and, and have great success and great results in your life. So that's my ultimate goal with these 11 lessons. So I, you know, I strongly urge you go through all of them. Make sure that you comment on them too and let me know what you think about them. You know, if you think they're great, you know, awesome. You know, let me know that. If you think that, you know, one of them sucks, let me know that too. It's not going to hurt my feelings, but what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to provide the most value and serve you the best way I possibly can. And the only way I could do that is by getting your feedback in return. So these are the things that, that you know, truly made a huge difference in my life. I want to give them to you. I want to give them to you for free. And all I ask in return is that, is that you just you know, give me a little feedback on what you actually think about them too. So with that, you know, keep your eyes open. Watch for my next, uh, my next video on, on the 11 lessons. I'll be going through every one of them. And, uh, and don't just watch, don't just watch the videos, don't just read the content, but truly, you know, try to integrate it into your being and let's see what kind of difference you can make in your life. So with that, I wish you all the best in happiness, health. I'm Jason Parker, Olympic medalist. So go, you know, go watch for that next video right away and go out there every single day and love life and truly live it. We'll see you on the next video.